Hello again, this is Rory, and today we are randoming fire, fire, fire. We have done a fire run re recently, quite recently, in fact. And I believe it was fire spear, too. Right? Let me check that on the channel. Might be wrong about that. I am wrong all the time. No, we got fire sword, but we were using this sword just as a carry. This time around, let's do the lance, the spear, the this thing. I removed range, didn't I? Okay, that makes things a little bit different, <laughs> difficult. That's fine. I, I meant to increase it, not to redo, to remove it. But that's fine, I can live without range increases or decreases in that matter, you know. I can live with the standard spear. Yeah, I'm not triggered at all by that, by the way. Let's remove everything related to fire. I don't want to see a fire in my life. You know, today I'm a firefighter, in the sense that I don't want to see fire, you know, yeah. Nope, no fire, no fire in this house. In this house, we reject the fire. We don't like Prometheus, and we eat our food raw. Uh, I could have reduced the charges to zero before removing the fire fully, but I won't. Just so that you guys know that I have the, uh, the possibility of throwing fire at enemies, and I'm not doing it. Yeah. That's why. Let's see. There is piercing projectile, which is very good for fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going for fire. There's width, <coughs> which I'm probably not taking. That's width. I'll, I'll, I'll be taking more armor. I want a single point into positive width. I don't think more than that is really worth it because of how little it increases. Yeah, no. Oh, the, this thing, this hair over my <laughs> mouth that I forgot the name of, it's, it's not helping me right now, okay? Mustache, there you go. I do not know why it, why is it called mustache, but... <clears throat> I do not even know why it, it exists, to be honest, but it looks cool. So, I look weird without it, <laughs> says my wife. So, I will not be questioning her. I have, I am completely illiterate when it comes to aesthetics. So, yeah. Let's say, ouch, why am I taking damage? Can I know? Can you tell me, video game? I don't care about your fire damage. I care about my width, my thickness. The thickness of my spear interests me more than the hotness of your fire. Thank you. I am very much triggered by the fact that I removed range for my <laughs> for my thing, if you can't tell, by the way. But 
that's fine. I will survive just fine without that. Right? As I will survive just fine without, well, <laughs> fire. It's not like I'm losing that much, honestly. Anyway, uh, we don't need fire size. Let's see how much do we still need to remove uh, related to fire. I believe just one thing, uh, two things, fire damage too. But fire damage perhaps I'll keep, just as a trinket. Just as, uh, just as, uh, I forgot the name of it, sign. Actually, I'm considering keeping fire damage because I could pick fire attacks to my spear. You know, I'm against fire wall, but fire itself, it's... Yeah, it's fine. You know? But I want that spell removed from my life, in general. Let me get that speed, because I'm not playing Cursed Wall, so I can get that speed and not feel weird about it. Whew. Yeah, these waves are taking longer and longer, aren't they? That's fine. I want to increase my attack speed, I want to increase my armor, and I want to increase my region, perhaps. I don't think I'm... I don't know about that region part. If I get a colored, some colorful region upgrades, I'll get them. Otherwise, I'll not. Yeah, sue me. Mustache thing is getting in my nose again. Perhaps there is some kind of tool to remove, to move your mustache in a way that makes sense. Yeah. A tool with, I don't know, several spaces one after the other, you know. Perhaps there is such a thing. But I do not have one in my possession right now, in my vicinity, at least. So I won't have, I won't use such a tool. And um, I don't know what's happening to me today. Perhaps there's this light in my face, but I'm forgetting all the words, you know, just all of them. I forgot uh, the comb. Oh, there we go. Green region, but I will get the, the green armor instead. Anyway, there is the comb, the hair comb. Uh, yeah. For now, there should be one for mustaches, which should be called mustache comb. I have decided. I am watching too much of that guy in the internet, right? That Ryan or something. I think it's Ryan. I don't remember his name. Sorry about that, Ryan. I don't think you were watching it either. But either way, sorry. I forgot your name. Your second name. Because there are way too many Ryans in the world. So for me to... Anyway, let's increase the attack speed. That one I can't still increase, right? So what we are looking for? We are looking for a very specific spear upgrade called the Viper. Mostly because it's fun and dandy. We are looking for another very specific upgrade called Multi-Hit. You know, mostly because it's fun and dandy. Perhaps attack speed? I am not sure about that one. Perhaps... I don't know. Something. Some way of dealing damage would be nice too. Perhaps fire or acid acid for our attack. You know? I do not like I do not want lightning. Even though I'll probably would would get it if I'm offered it. 
you know. So let's remove health. Let's add some fast food into our life so we remove our health. Let's grab a little bit of attack, double damage. Yeah, that's fine. So anyway, how has your day going, I suppose? You know, there are some generic conversations. Small talk, if you mean. If you will. I don't know. That we... Well. Do you know when you don't know a person like that well, but you still want to talk to that person? And then you make small talk to them, right? Yeah, I'm very not good at that, because I overthink it a lot, <laughs> you know? So, uh, yeah, how's the day going? And then I think, oh no, wait, that's not going to generate any eligible response where I can get a conversation going, you know? I need to get a conversation, when I need to get a conversation going, I mean, I need to have a conversation going, which isn't something that yeah fine and then what else you know small talk is just not really good at that and so i generally over engineer my small talk when i use it which isn't often honestly i used to do it way more back in the days and the in the uh, relationship apps days you know and then i would overthink a lot my small talk nowadays i don't speak to strangers that much you know game you have not offered me the things i wanted i want vampirism yes but windspear really elementalist Yeah, let's be tanky, I suppose. I... Yeah, let's have a lot of region. Now. Anyway, I don't think I can die anymore. Not in these waves. But I don't think I'll get what I want either. You know? Yay, I am invincible. I am a master of the immortality. Oh, well, let me grab that speed up. That sounds juicy. Juicy. Anyway. Back in the... Back in the dating app days, I would have these very over-engineering small talk uh, questions that were made in order to try to generate as much conversation as possible, right? Because in that in those kinds of scenarios, we want to keep the conversation going, you know? But nowadays, honestly, I don't keep that many conversations going, you know? With people in the internet, not very good at that, you know? And when it is a conversation, I already know the person very well. So, yeah. But basically, I have spent, I have spent lots and lots of times in my, in my life in dating apps. Because, well, I am a person. And... In that time, I went and developed that... that that whole thing, you know, that whole skill, conversate, uh, conversate, having conversations with people that I don't really know nothing about, you know, and that skill is useless today, and I feel a little bit bad about it, you know, when you develop a skill that you no longer use, but why would I use that, you know? Not many scenarios where... Uh, yeah. 
where I would want to use that anymore. Perhaps here in the videos. I mean, I've been talking all this time by myself. You might be responding, but if that's the case, well, I'm not listening to you. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not listening to you. I do not listen to you as you talk right now. And I mean, there are more people watching than I really expected to be. You know, I expected it to be zero people watching. But yeah, I, I do not listen to your voices, to your thoughts, to your... Well, you can leave a comment if you want me to listen, and I'll probably read that. But we are not engaging in an active conversation, you know. I'm, I'm just talking. I'm a, just a disembodied voice, voice talking. Actually, now I have a face. Look at that face, you know. Actually, the face is here. Why am, am I pointing to my screen where the face would be? <laughs> that was very strange, but that's fine. Anyway, now I have a face, so you can look at my face. It is my authentic face. You know, the verified bona fide face. That... Yeah. And funnily enough, Parts of my face is transparent because of the luma key I needed to use in order for, well, I so that I don't occupy the whole square because I would occupy this whole thing, you know. And I, I believe you want to see this part of the screen that I'm pointing to. Anyway, that's spreading. I will not be telling you what do I want because you don't care about me. You know? I know that you don't care about me, but I'm tanky. I don't care either. I just want to make the funny build happen. And if it doesn't happen, well, that's my life, I suppose. Alright? Budding is dead, and I have not gotten a single part of that build that I wanted to use. I'm tempted. Game, you are tempting me. In several ways. You know? Game is tempting me. Oh, it can tempt me. But I must resist temptation. Now I have a low cooldown dash, which is actually pretty nice. It increases my survivability a lot. Good thing I need more survivability, right? Yeah, good thing I need more survivability. Let's just casually walk into that bog, pretending I need more survivability. Because I'm an elementalist. Anyway. This is going, I wouldn't say it's going well, but it's going, you know, <laughs> it is going. Perhaps what I should do is to have some negative knockback, stand into the bog and lure enemies, enemies into it, right? That sounds like a very sane behavior. I'm, as I, as I say those words out loud, I feel ever more tempted to do it, to lure enemies to their death, you know? Perhaps like a siren. Yeah. The thing is, that wouldn't work with both bats and pillars. So that's an issue. Yeah. I cannot lure them to their deaths, but I can stand in the bog for a very long period of time without suffering consequences for my actions because I'm an elementalist and I have removed one of the few interesting boosts that I could have for this run. 
which is spear range. You could have the longest of the spears right now, you know, but due to an accident, my spear got to rem got fixed to a very small length, you know. Not my fault. Actually, technically my fault. Actually, explicitly my fault. There is no way that that wasn't my fault. You know, that was the first boost of the game. It's not like I was, I don't know, confused or anything. I just muscle memoried my way into deleting spear range. But that's fine. I don't need spear range. Who needs spear range? I don't. Yeah, that's for losers, am I right? Tech speed. Let's go, let's mint pudding. There we go. Can you give me like tons of spear range? No, you can't. You creature that walks and wobbles the way, your way towards me? Wobbles? Anyway. Now, I would like some more attack speed, actually, because these waves are taking so long, like too long, like perhaps all the time it is being taken from these waves, you know? That's fine, though. It is fine. Let me out tab real quick, just to see if someone is talking to me. No, they aren't. Yeah, let me get that level up. It is taking a little bit long, buddy. Not gonna lie to you. That strategy of luring enemies to their death would also not work with budding variants, but well, mint budding is the last budding variant of this match. Oh no, the boost is in the bug, what can I do? Anyway. Yeah, let's get tons of attack speed. And more negative knockback. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm considering, okay? <laughs> I'm considering <laughs> having negative knockback there. Would that be a good idea? No, but I'm thinking I can I can make some bad decisions, you know? It is the equivalent of being rich and the real life. Which I'm very much not, by the way. So, yeah. Let's see. Which is, it is something funny now that I come to think of it. The whole having money in real life translates to a lot of things, really. But the most interesting metric that I can think about how rich someone is, is actually how many mistakes they can make in life before their life goes to the gutter, you know? Because, well, let's suppose I am a very regular worker on a fast food restaurant thing, okay? I'm currently not, but that could be my, be my life one day. And in that situation, the amount of mistakes I can do before my life is very much difficult it's very little actually like like oh okay i could make a mistake and then get fired because of that and then have a very good very big difficulty finding another job because well most of those fast food uh, joints they communicate between each other so it would be very hard to acquire a job, you know, if I was fired because of a, a mistake of mine, especially if it was a big one, you know, and then, then I would not be able to pay for my, I don't know, rent because I'm poor, those kinds of things, right? And then I would end up in the streets, just a single mistake, you know, now they are other kinds of people there are have a little bit more money there are more mistakes away from ending up in the streets right uh 
for instance, I could get this and win the game, but I won't because I'm sticking to my principles. Anyway, <laughs> but the second thing, the second mistake here of people, which would be somewhat middle class people that own their house, houses, you know, you need to make more than one mistake in order to end up in the streets or and the, or screw your life or the, in other ways, in other social ways, I suppose, because you can always make a mistake that ends up cutting your limbs because you try to fell a tree without, <laughs> without experience, you know? There was a news article the other day about a guy who died trying to get some ham frozen hamburgers unstuck from each other using a knife and then he stabbed himself but i'm just, i'm saying a more in a more societal kind of point of view you know because everyone is fragile and is one mistake away from death but we are not talking about death here okay we are talking about having precarious life situation uh, we are talking about going hungry or homeless or those kinds of things, right? Because honestly, I don't believe people suffer that much and instantly die, you know? I would rather die than go... To, than live in the streets. Not saying that I would kill myself and if I would in that... If I were in that situation, I would probably do something to avoid it, but... You know? Yeah. So anyway, uh, middle class people need to make about two to three mistakes in order to, well, end up in the streets, right? Or perhaps uh, have to deal with hunger or something like that, right? And rich people, rich people can make a lot of mistakes. Like they have tons of lawyers, they often do tons of very iffy stuff they can harass people because they have the richer you are really the more mistakes you can do and eventually you'll get so rich that there is no number of mistakes that you can do that you can really make your life worse for instance there is no number of bad investments that can turn someone like a I don't know, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. There is no number of bad investments they can make that would turn them in, from a billionaire into a homeless person, right? There is some just something that they cannot reverse, the richness. I believe they could reverse it if they wanted, they as individuals wanted it, you know, but I'm saying like, considering that their goal is to not is to not become homeless people you know anyway uh, there was something i was thinking about because recently i saw that here in brazil there would be some time ago perhaps not today anymore some very specific very specific uh positions in a bank where you would be a bank... I don't know if the name is Bank Teller. The one who handles the cash, you know? And the whole... Basically, the human ATM machines, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, basically the humans who deal with the money. Those kinds of people, they receive here in Brazil an extra amount to their salary. There is... There is supposed to exist in order to avoid. Basically, if it is a bonus, but if they make any mistakes with that cash, that bonus, uh, that that mistake is reduced for the that bonus instead of their salary. You know, and then I don't really know if it could end up eating up their salaries. But the thing is, that bonus is about 500 bucks, right? And that might sound, might sound a lot, that's in reais, by the way, but 
it, it has a close relation to dollars in the sense that the price of life and the cost of life and stuff like that, you know. So you can translate to dollars and the message is not lost there, okay? It is not a perfect correlation, but you know the gist. You can convert it to euros and the, the thing is not lost there. Okay, 500 bucks. That's a lot, right? Well, they deal with numbers ranging, ranging from millions, or they used to. Nowadays, they don't do that. They don't mess with that much money because most people use banking apps, but they used to handle millions of dollars every day. So, and they got 500 bucks of... <laughs> mistake that they are they were allowed to commit every month okay so if you do the math there it doesn't really work you know because if you handle millions every day if you make a one percent mistake in your day okay let's suppose that one percent of all you that's ten thousand bucks you know, if that's if you only handle a single million. Okay. Anyway, that got me wondering how precise they need to be at the, their jobs, okay? Because, well, I suck at my job. I am not precise enough to to have everything done to the to the millimeter, you know? To the millimeter accuracy. I well, I'm, my job is as a pro programmer. And I miss more than I hit, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not precise, there are days there with, of work, which I basically lose because I make some stupid code that needs to be re entirely refactored. And that, you know, I'm not that precise of my job. And you know, I know that it isn't actually possible to be that precise as a programmer job. But the thing is, I don't know, it just it just rubbed me wrong there, you know? Like, how precise they need to be. That's not human, <laughs> you know? I don't know. I, I believe something very similar happens for other kinds of workers. Like, not bank-related, but honestly, construction-related. Uh, a very small imprecision could cost you your life or the life of a colleague, you know? That's not the case for an investor. You get it. Like, yeah, the investor risks money, but the investor does not risk his life or his colleague's life, you know? That's a different kind of risk. Because, well, if you, I don't know, put your, a weight on where you shouldn't, because it's easier to do that way. Like, I don't know, a steel something. Everything of, made out of steel is heavy, okay? You can't tell me otherwise. Everything big and made, made out of steel is heavy. And I do not know many construction terms <laughs> to know, oh, no, that's... Uh, Oh, that's a brick. I don't know that kind of stuff, you know? But they take very, very serious risks. Power tools. That's, those kinds of things frighten me. You know, I've seen dozens and dozens of video of Russian guys getting leafed. Leafed. Yeah, I can't pronounce that word. Getting stuck into lathes. And then basically getting a spun to, to them, they become ice cream. Non-frozen ice cream. You know? Like, I've seen so many videos of that. That is risk. You know? Yeah. Like, literally a piece of cloth could cost you a life. I don't know. I just find it, like, very, 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 
I forgot the word for it, but I will find it. It is weird. It it's kind of fascinates me how much risks the human being takes every single day in their jobs, especially low-income jobs. You know? The lower the income of the job often is often paired with the higher risks. I've ha read some somewhere that excluding uh, that excluding president, the worst jobs there they are, are astronaut, which okay, it is a high income job, and lumberjack. Like people die felling trees all the time. In terms of working accidents, I suppose. And I mean, I don't know, but I don't think lumberjacks are that well. Well, paid at least here in Brazil, you know. And I think they should be paid way more because they are ri literally risking their lives to do such things, you know. I don't know. I am a pro lumberjack person, I suppose. Every time someone who is a lumberjack or a firefighter or some high peril job, some other high peril job, yeah, everything they want, just give them to them, you know? They are dying out, out there so that I can have some lumber... <clears throat> some lumber related stuff, you know? I don't even know what I, we do with lumber nowadays. Perhaps, perhaps those kinds of, oh god, the words, the words again. I got stuck in my words. What, how do we call that thing which we have in the house that is usually made of, of wood, like bookshelves? There is a word for that, I'm just not remembering it. Also, what is this build? What am I doing? I'm just a very angry guy with a spear. In this case, I believe the character is female. So, I am just a very angry girl with a spear. Doing nothing useful at all. That's fine. We had some of those. We can't have f something fun every video, right? Yeah. Angrily stabbing enemies. Anyway, I will... Furniture! Furniture! There we go. There is some. There are some guys out there dying, so I can get some furniture. You know, mad respect for those guys. <laughs> you know, my furniture is not worth your life. No furniture is. However, well, there are people dying there, so that I can get my furniture. You know, that is wild to me. Anyway, I've been rambling a lot. That's mostly because there is nothing happening with my screen. I have a, a build that is almost immortal, that has very little damage. <laughs> because I wanted to do a very specific build, but I didn't get any legendaries that I needed for it. Therefore, I am only upgrading attack speed, armor and region. Perhaps region is unnecessary by this point? And I would love to incre increment uh, spear range too, but well, I can't. So there's that. I could remove everything and start upgrading random stuff. But then it would mostly increment stuff related to my fire, which I don't want. Oh, let me get that level up. That's a lot of damage considering how much attack speed I currently possess. I spoke stuff with the stick a little bit more angrily get that extra boost. I recently found out another game using the same assets as this one, which was fun because I know this one, this game uses free assets, therefore other games might, you know, but it is always funny when you see another game using the same assets as the game you usually play, you know? Yeah, even though I am being offered attack speed repeatedly, 
I will go for more armor so that I can do this more often, which is nothing, you know? Eventually, every enemy shall die. I have about 100 health regen and about too much armor. So, yeah. Oh, almost didn't see you there. And I'm getting a ton of boosts because of self-reflection. And... Yeah, those kinds of things. I like that when I go upwards or downwards, my character keeps spinning. Sometimes. Anyway. So what else? Other than people dying and not and mistakes in life and stuff. I got very rambly today. Probably I, I, I swear, this light on my face is doing something. It's doing something to my brain. How long is this video already? 40-something 40, 40 minutes, I see. Yeah, this might be my longest video if I get to end it. And given the current health and armor... Uh, given my current armor, it's probably, uh, probably well. Which I don't know if it, it is a good thing. You know, that is a very concerning amount of rambling I'm doing here. You know? Oh. There is a thing. Anyway, there is a concerning amount of rambling. I don't know if that's safe on the internet, you know? Why are we violently poke enemies to death. By the way, you guys have might have noticed that over the last few, I don't know how many days, I have removed the the music from the video. And that, that very much has a reason, because I was getting copyright strikes. So, Dr. Teaspoon, if you are hearing this, I might suggest to you that you put something other than that thing from Vivaldi, because from some reason, YouTube does not like that. And I don't know if you will change that in the future, but I do not know why, but YouTube certainly does not like that. It shows me a thing with every video. Like... That it got flagged. I really don't care that much because I'm, very, I'm a very small YouTuber. <laughs> Wouldn't call me a YouTuber anyway. Oh, the sniper only wave. I have to move this one. Anyway, oh, extra boost. Anyway, I'm a very small video creator. And. Uh, but very, somewhat large video creators might not want to play these kinds of games in their things. Recently I've saw, I have noticed that some game, that some YouTubers that feature indie games a lot, they usually remove the, in the game sound just to make sure, <laughs> you know, <laughs> there is something that happens, because it should, it, it could happen a lot, right? The indie game, a post, a, a person posts a game with music that they technically had the like I don't think I don't think it is not allowed to use that thing thing because I I personally used that for a game before that Vivaldi thing the four seasons by Vivaldi I literally used that for heliotropism so and I know for a fact that 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 recording of it was non got the name non binding no basically the right it was it was i was allowed to use that basically and 
I am allowed, you are allowed to use the Vivaldi things here too, because it is the same recording. <laughs> it's literally the same music, it is very funny. Anyway, but for some reason, YouTube just says, uh, puts a little thing right next to my videos saying copyright something. I can actually take a look at it right now, let me see. It is... Restrictions. Oh, it's... It's gone. Oh, okay, after a few days, the restriction on copyright that I got just vanished. So never mind. <laughs> you know? Just... Just more rambling. But it's weird that YouTube flagged that in the first place, you know? Because it knew what was being played, right? It told me it was being played for Season of Vivaldi, and it told me precisely what was being played. The YouTube system. I start to know the name of this thing. Anyway, this is a wave where I could die. Possibly. Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> The threat has been neutralized. Now I can't go back to rambling because every other enemy in this wave is melee. So it is very weird that the YouTube flagging system flags that in the first place. But hey, what can you do, right? This is a very regular spear build. Please give me something interesting. Or the love of entertainment as a concept. Yeah, that will take a while. But those enemies are dying. You know what? I will pick Dazzletonk. And more attack speed. Because I believe it is very much needed. And more armor. And more attack speed. And this wave has some en ranged enemies. This way I'm dealing slightly more damage. As I poke enemy repeatedly. This wave might actually kill me? Because, and just because... Well, those enemies have fire. And that fire... Stacks. And those stacks might stack to a point where they are enough to kill me. Oh, there is an enemy there. There you go. More attack speed. I will get attack speed every time it's offered. And when it isn't offered, I will get either armor or a re uh, remove. How much armor do I have? One, 158? Very normal amount. Very regular number. That is very normal to have. This wave is melee only, right? It cannot kill me. And I don't need even need to move. Attack speed. Great. This wave is melee only too, really. No, no, there are some in range of enemies. Let's push them into the bog where they belong. Not sure what's happening, and I am on fire right now. Oh, great, a double damage. That helps me. Another double damage, but I won't pick that one. I will pick that automatically when this wave ends. I don't really need to dodge. I will remove this. Desolator stick is what I got. There are some range of enemies here and there. So basically, we got self reflection in this run in general, and I got Rembly. I believe it is an effect from that. I don't know what's with the legendaries this run, but none of the cool ones. Actually, I was offered Wind Spear. But I very much wanted 
Viper. And I have the requisite for the Viper. And I wasn't offered it at all. Like, yeah, let's increase the width a little bit, right? Uh, every time a colored width will show up, I will pick it. Just, just because, you know. Perhaps I can make an extra wide spear or something. There are some snipers which cannot kill me, but a very big mass of peelers over there. These waves, the ones with a lot of fire enemies, in my opinion, are the hardest ones in the game. Because the fire that they lay around are very much deadly. Eventually these enemies will die. <coughs> like the fact that they pollute the map with those fires is the most deadly aspect of it. And the fact that the fire itself has a little bit of a dot that's related to it. Yeah, let's get green damage. It is four waves worth of level ups. Oh, range of the bats. Hello, range of the bats. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. I hope you have no expect expectations towards killing me. Because you won't. However... Yeah, the knockback is a little bit obnoxious with this amount of uh, of uh, with this amount of attack speed, you know. Especially when dealing with ranged enemies, uh, perhaps I will remove the knockback a little, reduce it. Ranger the bats are the worst. You know, they're immune to bog. Which is about 50% of my damage right now. At least I'm somewhat resistant to damage, some might say. I still don't know if the last boss will be able to kill me, but that's about it. We will still get two legendaries before the last boss. I look forward towards them. I think. Yeah. I will get some negative knockback. It's not like these enemies can kill me anyway. Right? And if I get the Viper, that could be very fun. If only I could lower my range, so... <laughs> or increase it, perhaps. I'll do something regarding to it. With the thing is, with this amount of armor, the life steal that I currently have is way too much. You know, for the game to handle. So, we have 18 rerolls. We might try to lower our knockback. Yeah. I got the green width. Let's get extra wide. One pixel extra. I believe at least it's pixels because... Well... Just a suspicion <laughs> in general, you know. Pixels are a very good unit to handle your video games in. Anyway. Would love to have... Yeah, let's do the following. From the na waves. From now on. Let's try to use our refreshes. Until we are down to five. 
and getting green stuff. I need better stuff, really. Right? So armor, green armor. Great. I'm taking that. So both of the twins are there. Let's try to push them into the bog like that. Oh, they weren't. There we go. Now we need to very patiently wait until the wave is completed. Because we do not know what it what taking damage feels like. Actually we do, we take a lot of damage, but we we mitigate it so much that we don't really need to care about it. The thing about tank tanky builds in these kinds of games is that well Yeah. They oh the Viper, thank you. I wanted the Viper for a long time. So now I have a multi segmented attack that does that. Isn't that nice? Six segments. Now I hit even more enemies, even faster. It is. It looks like a range increase, but I. It is not because I cannot target an enemy outside of my attack range. You know. But it's fine. It is like. Something that exists. I still want negative knockback on the Viper. But if I'm offered. Did I remove knockback? Oh, I did! Yeah, well. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. So, yeah, I guess there's that. So, I guess I would like some Basilisk guy. Or something. I can move into here. Okay. I could have sworn I didn't, but anyway, what can uh, we? What do we know, right? Some negative knockback would be nice here because the attacks further away from the the segments, you know, would bring the enemies towards me. So I can hit more enemies, but that's fine. It's fine with if we don't get it. What a cursed run, really. What a very rambly and cursed run. thing about the Viper is that if we hit enemies in the edge of our attack, they take damage twice, which is nice. You know. Because, well, they take damage from our attack, from the regular attack, and the, from the second segment of it. You know. Double damage here is nice. It does a lot of work for us. probably tell yeah let's increase the damage just because it's green at this point it doesn't matter that much I would like a double damage but you do you game extra boost is also fine Second. One second, people. Oh, I forgot to pause the game. Funny. Uh, people are wanting me to go dinner? So I guess I'll try to finish this as, fa as quickly as possible. Nice joke, right? 
Yeah. Nice joke. Anyway. This is going nicely. I think we won't. You know? But I also think it will take a while. Not that much, perhaps some extra minutes. You know precisely how many by the video length. I don't. I have no grasp on the future. I know that I have way too much attack speed for a build like more than half the maximum attack speed of the game and my attack speed growth is 12 you know which is for all intents and purposes low very low every other thing that can increase attack speed like if I could if I gotten true sword it would be a maximum attack speed. Katar, maximum attack speed, knife, maximum attack speed. But since we are using a spear, Druid Staff, way over maximum attack speed. You know. <laughs> Anything really. But since we are not, we are using a very basic weapon for that in terms of attack speed growth we are far away from that but honestly not such a big deal if only this was a little bit quicker if only I had some negative knockback you know I got all, all, of course I also removed that one Oh, you were alive. Attack speed. Damage. At this point, I believe damage. Attack speed. Let's just increase damage and attack speed. Because we want to finish this as quickly as possible. And if I die, honestly, that's a video, okay? <laughs> I will be uploading this. No matter how much... I fail in the next few minutes. Very few. Very, very few. Yeah, I need to eliminate the range of the enemies. So I got to a sweet spot of armor. Damage, Oyster, Extra Boost, I do not know where the Oyster is, I don't really care. I don't think the Oyster can kill me, but I'm not testing that. Double damage, please. There we go, the Oyster is dead, I do not know how I got here. Probably went to the edge of the map. Legendary. Really. Nothing. Attack speed and armor, I don't know. Let's stay here so most enemies will die to the bog damage. Then let's leave the bog a little bit to get that boost. Go back to the bog. So, oh, my, my Sapphire. I need many enemies to die for, for, for the bog damage. That way... That way it's a little bit faster. Just a little bit. There are no boosts that really could help us increasing the speed at which we clear these waves. Are there? 
Some extra bows would be nice. Extra bows, attack speed, fire damage, yes, that will save us. That is precisely what we need. Let's get the double damage. That thing. The double damage is the best thing that can happen to us. Let's go towards the edge of the boost. Another boost. And another boost. Let's go to the, the very edge of our screen. That doesn't help. Lots of speed ups. Double damage, double damage. Let's go. I am almost not being able to pick up the speed ups. Yeah, more segments. Oh, yeah, we could be increasing segments this whole time. I just forgot. <laughs> you know. Honestly, I forgot we were playing the Viper because I forgot everything. My mind. Uh, this video is over way too many times long. The game is lagging. Why is the game lagging? I am literally not doing anything. Right now. And I, I am still attacking slowly. Is this the number of segments? Enemies? Perhaps projectiles? I made the run so bad, but so bad that it's crashing the game for just being bad, you know? Perhaps enemy collisions. Out the bog. Real quick, let's go back into the bog. I went too far into the bog. Have no idea where I am. Oh, finally, the game is back and on its net legs. Let's pick my. I'm strolling through the. I am casually strolling through. Oh, there we go, the boss, the last boss of the game. Come over here. Would you please? Thank you. Very hard boss. <laughs> Very hard boss, indeed. The bogs are way too strong. Honestly, having negative knockback here would be very nice. I would be able to drag enemies into the bogs. But I removed it, because I'm a dumb dumb. As I did remove my attack range. There we go. I won this thing. Yay, I got fourth in the leaderboard. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this very rambling piece of video that I put into the internet. Please subscribe if you can. Uh, I would like that number to go up. That's the only reason, really. I am The monkey brain really likes numbers going up. Anyway, I hope to see you guys next time. Now I gotta get dinner before I get hurt. <laughs>